Next to me is the all new BMW 7 Series, and it packs an impressive amount of luxury and technology. Sure, the front end might take a little bit of getting used to, but under the sheet metal is some serious tech. Guys, stick around to the end of the video because you don't want to miss some features on this car that I truly have never seen before on any other vehicle. Under the hood of the 760 is a 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 making 538 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque. Obviously, it's a big luxury vehicle. It weighs 5,100 pounds, but because it's all-wheel drive, it can actually shoot from zero to 60 in just four seconds. BMW is also coming out with a fully electric version of this car called the i7, and it's set to compete against the EQS and the Tesla Model S. The good news is it looks exactly like this. There's some blue accents and subtle differences. Obviously, there's no tailpipes, but they didn't try to reinvent the wheel and create an ugly jelly bean like the EQS. That has a 318 mile range, which is pretty decent, nothing crazy, and zero to 60 in about 4.3 seconds. Well, the design of the new 7 Series is polarizing. I actually quite like it. It looks like a combination of Darth Vader mixed with Emperor Palpatine. It's just absolutely savage, but I do understand why some people aren't a fan. Really unique is the split headlight design. We've actually got LED daytime running lights that are crystallized up here, and then the actual lights down here. The side of the new 7 Series is super long and flat, and it features these kind of holes instead of door handles like you find on the iX. Insert your hand and you can open the door, but there's also a button right here where if you click it, it automatically opens the door. All of the doors can automatically open and close even using your voice, which I'll show you a little bit more in a bit. There are four different wheel options to choose from, a range of 20 inch and 21 inch options. These are 24 inches from Ford Giotto. The whole car has been built by 412 Motorsports. Special thanks to them for putting this on. Follow them on Instagram. They do everything from custom wraps, exhaust, mods on your supercars, maintenance, really cool group of guys. They also did this two-tone wrap. This is a stock color. This is satin PPF, satin black. But BMW actually offers two-tone for the first time ever, kind of like a Maybach. It'll cost you $12,500, and it only comes in two options. I think this turned out a lot better. Around back, the 7 Series is super aggressive. We've got quad tailpipes. Now notice the 760 now is a V8. It used to be a V12, and it also sports an incredible amount of storage space. 19.1 cubic feet of space, that's over 50% more than an S-Class. So if you do need to take a lot of luggage, this thing is premium. Now, the real magic though happens in the rear seat environment. The rear seat environment in the new 7 Series is absolutely incredible. Finally, they have a Mercedes rivaling interior. They've stepped the game up immensely. We've got screens everywhere, the coolest of which is actually hidden up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this little five inch display on the door. And if I click that, I can click fold down and this 31 inch 8K resolution display folds down from the roof. Yes, that's right. This is more high res than your $10,000 TV at home. Pretty impressive. You can control all of it via this touch screen right here, and you can choose between things like Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, so on and so forth. Now, obviously, there's more to the rear seat environment than just the screen, although it's pretty darn cool. We've got these gorgeous pillows with the executive rear seating package. We've also got reclining rear seats, as well as massaging and ventilated rear seats. Now, I'm actually gonna pop over to this seat right here. So we're in the passenger side of the car now. Watch this. If I go ahead and click on seats, it's got a variety of seat controls, but I can click this one that looks like a bed, and all of a sudden, it's gonna fold this front seat out of the way. It's gonna recline me backwards. I'm gonna have a leg rest pop out. A foot rest is gonna pop out right there. And you can basically sleep in the back of your 7 Series, and at the same time, watch an incredible movie. We'll go ahead and fast forward this clip and I'll see you when it's fully reclined. The pillow's going up here, my foot rest is going up. I mean, that is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, now I'm reclining. It doesn't get any more comfortable than that in a rear seat environment, seriously. This is unbelievable. We've also got wireless charging. This thing slides forward somehow, cup holders in there, extra storage space here, charging ports. This car is ridiculous. And the luxury continues in the front. The driver's seat is incredibly luxurious as well. We've got this massive curved display that features a 12.3 inch instrument cluster and a 14.9 inch main center stack. We've also got this gorgeous piece 
of kind of clear glass here that illuminates. If we click the hazards, look at that. It lights up in red. One of my favorite parts of the entire car is the automatic opening and closing doors, and it can even operate via voice controls. Check this out. Hey, BMW, open all doors. How cool is this? All the doors are opening at the exact same time. And then I can say, close all doors. I mean, that is pretty darn cool. I mean, check out how elegant it looks from behind the driver's seat. It really is impressive in here. Massive leather wrapped steering wheel, feels great in your hands, paddles behind. That is pretty cool. We've also got for audio files, the Bowers and Wilkins upgraded speaker system, 2000 watts of power, over 40 speakers. There's even speakers in the headdress and it's called 4D sound because you actually feel the music in the seats and in your body. It truly is a pretty unrivaled experience. Now you can change the display options here if you want. Going into settings, let's go to layout and you can change. Uh, exactly what the layout looks like, which is pretty nice. We've got all of the controls for iDrive 8. Nice crystallized turn dial here, the volume knob. This puts it into drive, reverse, and neutral. Screen is really, really nice. Go ahead and show you the graphics here. Works very well, responds quickly, and the graphics are fantastic. All right, let's get this thing out on the road. We are behind the wheel of the new 7 Series now, and it is so unbelievably comfortable. The suspension soaks up bumps extremely well. It just glides over the road. Extreme amount of isolation from the outside environment. There could be horrible traffic with people honking and you just have no idea. Just relaxing in your 7 Series. Now there's a multiple driving modes to choose from if we click my mode right here, but they don't just customize the way the car drives. They also customize the way the car feels and the interior as well. So check out what happens when I click on sport mode Obviously, throttle response is gonna heighten, suspension is more stiff, but this display, this trim piece on the center console and the doors as well lights up in the BMW M colors. That is so cool. The fact that you can have this trim basically be multiple trims whenever you want, you can just customize it and change the way it looks is really, really cool to me. Go back to my modes, check this out. When we go to expressive mode, if the sunshade was closed, it'd go ahead and open that up. We've got this crazy greenish blue, and then up on the dash itself, there's a really cool display as well. Just a really creative solution, honestly. Steering wheel feels great in your hands. We've got paddles mounted behind the wheel itself. The seats are incredibly, incredibly supportive. Now, when we put it into expressive mode, I didn't know this, but it activated the massage. So now the car is massaging me which is absolutely lovely. Obviously you can control all the shades, you can control this massive screen from the front, but you can also do self-driving. So if we go ahead and go ahead and put it onto cruise control, it can do something called assisted driving plus where it actually steers for you. I'm not touching the steering wheel whatsoever and it's driving me like it's a Tesla. Pretty darn cool. I think you gotta opt for the internal combustion engine version of the 7 Series. Sure, you can get the i7, but the range at 318 miles isn't all that impressive, and you might as well get the gasoline car while you still can. Eventually, you're not gonna be able to buy, likely, a uh, internal combustion engine 7 Series. Definitely not going to be able to buy a twin turbocharged V8 from the BMW M5 plopped in one of these. And unfortunately, the last generation M760 was a V12, they've gotten rid of the V12 and now we just have this V8. But I'm still thankful for it because it has so much torque and it's a really good powertrain. All wheel drive, launches very well. You could take this in inclement weather. It truly is a do everything vehicle. You could commute, you could travel across the country, you could have a driver fall asleep in the back, you could do work in the back. I really love this car. Honestly, I'm more impressed with the new 7 Theories than I thought I was going to be. Originally, on the outside, I wasn't sure how to feel about it, but seeing it in person and in the right color combination, particularly darker colors, the grill actually looks pretty cool, especially when it blends into the satin black. You need to see it in person. I know it looks a bit different than something you're used to seeing, but it's really imposing, and I think they've actually pulled it off rather nicely. The rear end looks good too, and I, 
automatic opening and closing doors is just an absolute riot. And the fact that you can do that from the click of a button uh, or just saying it, open all doors, is really, really cool. Once again, special thanks to 412 Motorsports for making this video possible. We've got their Instagrams at 412 Motorsport. If you're looking for a wrap, you're looking for wheels, you're looking for maintenance on your car, a tune-up, or some modifications on your supercar, European car, hit them up. They're a good group of guys and they know what they're doing. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. Minecraft! Oh,